chicken is often served to us in many flavor-packed and tempting forms including the pan-fried, oven-baked, grilled, roasted and smoked chicken. But did you know that the delicious chicken you routinely treat yourself to may be laced with antiretroviral drugs? A new study conducted among farm chicken in Wakiso district reveals that a large proportion of chicken breasts and thighs contain significant traces of efavirins, a first-line HIV drug that reduces the amount of virus in the body. One of the key drivers of our work, why we went to, to assess the presence of ARVs in farm chicken, was that uh, there are media reports about misuse of, of, uh, of ARVs in farm animals. We had not got any, any, any scientific data confirming this misuse, and that drove us to doing this work, to generate, to generate data that people can rely on for, for future works, because there was none at the time of the study. Although the practice of misusing ART medicines to promote animal growth and control diseases is an active landmine, there is meager scientific evidence on the magnitude of the problem. As the study's principal investigator, Dr. Oria, set out to determine the content of ARVs in chicken tissue and feeds collected from different farms in Wakiso. We did both qualitative and quantitative bits, so we used mixed methods. And we, for the qualitative part, we, we had key informant interviews. So we interviewed uh, farmers and uh, chicken feed providers. We're interested in knowing, asking the perceptions of these farmers on the use of, 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 of these medicines and how, and how they access them and why they actually use them. So our quantitative bit was to look at, to quantify how much ARVs are in, in, in chicken tissue but also in, 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 uh, in, in the chicken feeds. Of course we went through different steps, including weighing the sample, mixing the sample, vortexing the sample, until we got a sample that we could inject into the machine. The machine is called high performance liquid chromatography. So during the analysis, we already have the effervescence standard, which we know that has concentration. That concentration, how you know it has, it comes in form of a graph a curve. So you get a sample run versus that concentration. If a sample does not have a curve at that point of the effervescence powder, then you consider that sample to be negative. It does not have any effervescence concentrations. However, to our surprise, there are samples that actually had curves, small curves, but also curves that were huge. So those curves, when you plot them out, they correlate into concentrations. So based on that, we were able to present data to him and say, in this batch of samples, some are negative, but there are also those that have concentrations of effervescence. Ignorantly, farmers in the district claim that ARVs are given to chicken in a bid to increase their yields and size. Broilers that would otherwise take 12 months to fully grow for market sale take four months or even less. The chicken ARV present chicken were about 13.3 percent, and then the the presence of um, ARVs in in the, in, in the chicken feed was about 3.3 percent. So there was more of, of ARVs in the, in the chicken tissue than in the chicken feeds. As one of the major sources of animal protein in Uganda, Oria fears that consuming ART encumbered chicken has a volley of negative repercussions for public health and HIV and AIDS care in Uganda. The fact that we were able to detect uh, ARVs in farm chicken shows that actually there's a misuse of ARVs in, in the farm chicken. So that's, what this means is that we're exposing our people to very low amounts of ARVs as they eat the chicken. If the virus is exposed to low amounts of, the, of, of these drugs, then there's a possibility of, of developing resistance. So the time when we want to use the ARVs as a first-line treatment of people who, who, who develop eventually HIV AIDS, it, it may not work because the virus will, might, might have developed resistance. With growing evidence of ARV residues in Uganda's poultry, 
Dr. Oria's study lists two major recommendations to curb the mischievous practice. These are educating farmers on the dangers of using ARVs in farm animals and government instituting an online system to monitor use of ART medicines to control diversion and misuse of these drugs. We must sensitize them on the appropriate use of, of, of medicines. The medicines are used in, farm, in, in farming in, to, to, to treat poultry and other farm animals. And then there are those medicines that are used only for humans. So, so the fact that the fact that ARVs can can cause weight gain in, in people who are suffering from HIV/AIDS should not should not should not guarantee that people must use these medicines to fatten other animals in the farms. This study was supported by the Nature Research Training and Mentoring Program for Career Development at Makerere University's College of Health Sciences.